hello everybody. Uh, thank you for inviting me to uh, Kiev. I'm very happy to be here also. It's my uh, second time I'm uh, in Ukraine. Uh, first time I was in Kharkov. It was uh, at the European Championship. Unfortunately, uh, Holland didn't came really far. <laughs> so I only came to see them lose. But uh, still, uh, now I'm finally back in Ukraine uh, to, uh, to be here. Uh, my presentation is about uh, how Microsoft responded when they were hacked. Uh, this is an old story from the year 2000, 2000, 2001, uh, and also with some more stories uh, what all happened. It's a point of view story what happened with me uh, and of course with Microsoft. Uh, so let's get started. Um, before I uh, made this talk, um, this talk was made for uh, DEFCON. Uh, I was at Def DEFCON last year at the Skytalks area and uh, I asked Microsoft if, if I'm allowed to speak at DEFCON or Black Hat or this kind of conferences. Uh, I only uh, 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 wanted to talk at DEFCON in general, but they also know if I'm going to make this story, it will be for a lot of conferences. <laughs> so uh, I asked them, um, yeah, if I can do this. And their last quote of uh, Microsoft Security Response Center was, uh, the team is asking that you uh, not use the same information uh, or Microsoft's name. Ultimately, the decision is yours. So I made my decision. <laughs> I'm now in Kiev. What you will see in this, uh, in this talk, you will see some drama, some mystery, some action and not suitable for work. For me it was, I don't know if it's for you. Um, and so far I know it's not on uh, Netflix, HBO, Prime. Um, maybe it will be on HBO, but I don't know yet. So we're busy with it. Uh, who am I now? So uh, I'm Dimitri, I'm 37 years old. Uh, I'm married, uh, I'm married with a Russian, <laughs> uh, Russian women. Uh, I got a baby girl of 11 months. She will be uh, almost one year. Uh, I'm living in the Netherlands. My uh, hobbies are snowboarding and cooking. Snowboarding is still on beginner level after like 12 or 14 years. Uh, but still, uh, I love cooking. Uh, I'm cooking HelloFresh. I don't know if you know this HelloFresh. It's are those boxes that you get like with all recipes and all... Uh, uh, I see somebody like doing this. <laughs> Um, and I already do it a lot of times. So I think I already had like 100 boxes uh, and then five recipe per box. So uh, my wife is very happy that I'm cooking. Um, I'm also um, uh, CFI uh, certified. Um, that was my last uh, course. It was very nice. I've seen it also in the hall here. I also said like, hey, that uh, you don't see that as much. <laughs> so um, that's it was a nice course. It was easy in general. Um, I'm a system engineer, um, working, uh, working slash works for the Dutch government, uh, healthcare, multinationals, and some more, but you will see this in the presentation. Now, my dog uh, name is Rada, of course, <laughs> uh, because um, in DEF CON, they always show their cats, but I don't have a cat, I have a dog. So I showed my dog at DEF CON, of course. So this is my dog. And she gets very <laughs> dirty. If she sees mud, she will jump into it. So what will I discuss? Who was I in that time? What did I do? Why go to the press? Uh, how Microsoft responded? And what happens next? First of all, we have to go back to the year 2000. So the best way to do this is, of course, with Dr. Evil. So let's steal Microsoft's mojo. Who was I? Uh, I was 19 years old, uh, living at my parents' house. I was working for an ICT service company, uh, playing a lot with firewalls and freelance pen tester. In that time, first you said always penetration tester. And if you went to the company and say, I'm penetration tester in that time, <laughs> There was a lot of people laughing at you, like what is a penetration tester? But nowadays, it's of course uh, very uh, popular. Uh, started like system engineering, uh, did Wing Chun Kung Fu. 
uh, that was the same uh, like Brosley. I always wanted to be like Bruce Lee, but uh, I noticed I will not be like Bruce Lee. Uh, but still, uh, I had uh, good experience uh, for a few years, and uh, I always wanted to do something with security, or it was behind, be um, at the door at the club, or like IT security. So it went to go to IT and not uh, bef before a club. My hobbies. So. What were my hobbies? Uh, discovering new and using existing ways of hacking. Uh, one of my CVEs uh, from the past, uh, I had more CVEs, but the only thing is like, did I didn't put it on my name. Because um, I don't like to be in the picture. Still, I'm standing here, of course, after 18 years, I know. But in that time, uh, uh, it was. I think it was always difficult with vendors. So that was my experience with uh, vendors. So uh, I'm happy that I'm not in contact also always with vendors. I will discuss this also later in the presentation. Uh, in that time, uh, my online and offline activities, uh, I was uh, on news groups, of course, like bug track and more, websites like Security Focus, Attrition. I will not say how many times I'm on Attrition with all those names, but uh, I think you can guess it will be a lot. Uh, Packetstorm uh, was a favorite website, and uh, books, 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 in that time, of course, not digital, but the books, and uh, like Red Hat, Windows books. Uh, I was, of course, on IRC, so I had a lot of contacts also uh, in that time around the world, uh, and playing games like Delta Force. So what I will show is, of course, what happened in the news. These are uh, some news articles in that time, uh, screenshots from now, I have to be honest, because I didn't uh, make uh, the screenshots from that time for this, so I could download it still, it's still on the internet, you can still read about it. Um, so you can see it was also CNN, CNET, Computer World, all this kind of stuff. Um, and you will see it now, how this happened in a timeline. Um, in uh, 2000, like 30 of May, uh, I contact the Microsoft Security Response Center and said, okay, there are some sample files uh, were used on uh, www.microsoft.com. So I sent, it, uh, sent them an email saying like, you know what, you got some sample files, I can uh, use it to see the source code disclosure of the ASP files. So they said, uh, Hi Dimitri, thanks very much for the heads up. Uh, I'll get the word, uh, the word to the folks uh, who run that site right away, regard secure at Microsoft.com. So no bounty, of course, in that time there were no bounties, didn't exist, they only said thank you. The second time, 31 of May, it was really close afterwards, I have to be honest. Um, I said like, okay, uh, I found in that time some standard installed servers. Uh, some of them were like form.microsoft.com uh, and windowsce.microsoft.com. So the second uh, security notice came and I said, um, uh, first of all, I said like there's uh, 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 some standard installed servers, uh, everything was possible, uh, HDR secure, that was above overflow, and then you know why I say this. Um, and I asked them, can I do a scan for uh, to uh, scan all your uh, sites? And they said, uh, well, we can't give you permission to scan our site. Uh, should you find anything abnormal, we will be happy for you to point it out to us. So I am not allowed to scan, but if I will find something, we will be very happy to point it out to us. The third time. The third time, uh, I found some database passwords uh, on several uh, Microsoft.com websites again, of course. So I sent them. Uh, I can uh, find some. Uh, there are again source code disclosures uh, uh, vulnerabilities, and uh, I asked them, like, okay, uh, uh, fix this, and um, uh, and they even didn't know how I did it. That was it. So they even didn't know how I did it. The password also was very, very funny. It's, um, 
I will not say the password, but it has something to do with three little pigs. <laughs> so easy it is, uh, the passwords of Microsoft. The fourth contact. Of course, back with Dr. Evil, um, I had access to several Microsoft.com servers. And I sent them an email, like really clear for me, and I think for you, everybody. I said like, is this your domain admins? So I gave them uh, like, okay, these are your domain admins. I only put away the local domain, uh, local admins because um, I don't know if they're still using it. Could be, of course. But these are the domain admins of the Internet Domain Controller, uh, IDC, Internet Domain Controller. So they had, uh, I think, a DMZ, the, uh, and they had their, uh, their uh, yeah, all their sites. And I had control about uh, all their sites. So you will think they will give you a very good response. But they didn't. They said, uh, I'm sorry, I don't exactly understand uh, what you're reporting here. This email address is provided for the reporting of suspected uh, vulnerabilities in Microsoft products. Could you please provide a little more information details? So they didn't understand it. So I sent them an email. Th uh, there's a text file uh, on uh, www.microsoft.com. And here is your SEM database, so your password database. So any questions, you can call me. Yeah. So hell goes loose at Microsoft at that moment. That's what I was thinking, hell goes loose. But there was no answer after four days. So you're sending them the password file, you're sending them the, the test files, but there's no answer after four days. But why? Why they didn't answer? So I was thinking about possible scenarios, what they were thinking. Possible scenario one is bullshit. This guy is sending us bullshit. Scenario two. Close your laptop. We didn't see anything. And scenario three. They just go directly to the FBI. The 1st of November in 2000. 11 days, no answer. Time to do something. First of all, why go to the press? Uh, on 27 of October, uh, Microsoft released a press notice uh, that they were hacked. And uh, this wasn't me. So, um, and they said it will be uh, an FBI uh, investigation. But if that will be an FBI investigation, the chance is big that they will also find me or that I'm already on this list. I don't know, because they didn't answer like 11 days. It stressed me out, I have to be honest. So I felt like I will not wait for this, I just go to the press. And reason two, Microsoft doesn't update their system themselves. They, they're asking everybody to update systems, but they, do, they don't do it by themselves. And that's not good. But when I went to the press, uh, the press wanted proof. Uh, it's nice, the password fell and the passwords and all this kind of stuff, but we really want proof. So I gave them proof. I, I posted a web on the website, hack the planet on events.microsoft.com, and um, that was the proof what they wanted. But events at Microsoft.com was the, the least important server, and I knew this, of course. 7 of November. News article goes online. A big day. Some quotes uh, from the first news article. The latest breach was minor by comparison and was fixed almost immediately, the company said. So this is a quote of Microsoft. 
The server, which was nearing its scheduled retirement age, suffered from a not having received a new software update, or patch, that was issued on 17th of October, Sean said. Microsoft has corrected the problem, he added. Very good. It's a challenge when you run a major network with many servers. Even through this server was near retirement, we would have preferred that it had a patch. It's certainly the exception and not the rule. This one fell through the cracks. After a few days, I've seen that the post was gone, but it was still not patched. So they lied. So, I post again something. So what do you post if it's not patched? Oops, I did it again. Patching your systems is very hard, huh? Message to Brittany, I loved your concert in the Netherlands. I've really been there at this concert. <laughs> Some quotes of the second article. <laughs> Microsoft said, we want to start a dialogue with Dimitri. We would like to know why Dimitri feels he needs to challenge us this way. So, I accepted the invitation and I had a meeting at Microsoft the Netherlands. But how did my welcome community look like? How was the welcome for me, for all these per, uh, persons that were wor working at Microsoft, how did they welcome me? This is how it looked like. <laughs> everybody knew that I was coming. And everybody <laughs> was looking angry at me because um, it was the major company of course, and uh, people that were working there, everybody was uh, at parties and stuff, they, they said like, hey, Microsoft is also hacked, ha ha ha. So they didn't like it uh, for the family and people that they know. So this is how it looked like, how the welcome. But what did we discuss at Microsoft? Of course, the well-known Unicode transfer for Berg. Um, Rainforest Puppy have in investigated this uh, from an anonymous post, and um, uh, but with some friends, we uh, checked this vulnerability and said, like you know what, it's it's more um, uh, it's better to use not the the folder that they uh, described in the vulnerability, but another folder, and um, of course this came also uh, at Security Focus and security focused put uh, pushed this also uh, as exploits on it and this was uh, more uh, efficient because uh, this folder was always installed on c drive and not on uh, on another drive because the script folder could can uh, you know it all i think uh, uh, it could be also on other folders of course we also discussed like on which service did i had access uh, I had access on Windows Update.Microsoft.com, uh, 128Download.Microsoft.com, Events, Insider, Library, and many more. And as proof, these are the directory listings uh, of uh, the download server, so I could change uh, the, the patches that were uh, installed there, of what was ready for to, to download. And uh, I could change it with a Trojan. So it will be the biggest hack ever if everybody everybody on the world will be infected if I changed this. I don't know why I didn't do this, but I think it has something to do with I don't want to be in jail. So they asked like the damage control questions from Microsoft. Did you uh, do any damage? No. Uh, did you upload viruses? No. Did you create backdoors? No. And why did you do this? Updating systems is a, a difficult task for system admins, like you said in a quote. Also for Microsoft. My, recommenda my recommendations uh, to Microsoft in the year 2000. Start a Microsoft Security Response Center in Europe. It's a little bit started. Features and samples in IIS and Windows in general default off and not on uh, like you now see in the last year still is that old uh, uh, 
uh, old services are still active and that has to be default off and not on. So Microsoft's last words at the meeting, if you find more vulnerabilities in the future, let us know. Keep in touch at Microsoft the Netherlands, but gently. They didn't want to see me back, of course. And now the emails came from Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft uh, said, all press contacts about activities that concern Microsoft are now over. All communication about hacking Microsoft through the press goes through Microsoft. If we are approached by the press, our comments will be that we have indeed spoken to each other, but that we will not make future statements about this conversation. My favorite one. From the US, they have responded with approval to our conversation. I think, and I mean that, that you were getting away with this too easy without charges. So I was 19 years old, getting from a yeah really, really big company this email about that, they, that I'm going away with this too easy without charges. And of course, it came in the press. But uh, Microsoft hackers secretly about meeting that, of course, came in the press like this. It was all big secrets. But what did my employer think about this? I should go uh, to the employer um, because the manager thought we can have Microsoft as customer. I don't think so. I think uh, that's not possible. And the second one, they planned a meeting at Microsoft. Uh, at the, oh, sorry. They planned a meeting at the airport behind customs with Compaq, because uh, I showed also uh, that Compaq was also vulnerable for this, and uh, and they thought like, oh, uh, then we can also have maybe Comp Compaq as um, uh, as customer. But I didn't want to meet uh, with Compaq behind customs. I didn't know what were the rules behind customs. And what happens if you refuse? You're fired. At least uh, it was uh, in court, but we had a settlement with uh, with them. And uh, of course, this came also in the press because everybody wants wants to write articles about this. And uh, yeah, it was good that I was gone. But I needed a break afterwards. What is the best place to work and have fun? Because I was 19 years old, I really wanted to have fun. Only with Microsoft working is not really nice. So, I was going to work in the club scene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> of course, uh, doing IT stuff and uh, websites and uh, all this kind of stuff, uh, but also making the pictures. This huh? Microsoft changed your life. Yes, correctly. Really changed my life. Uh, because the club note knows me uh, because of all the articles. So that's why they asked me to work for them. But this was my workplace. And this was my... Uh, <laughs> my pictures what I made. <laughs> it was very nice also. But what happened in the year 2003? I came back to Microsoft and they didn't like it. I said like, you know what, I found uh, a vulnerability. As you can see, 2003, it was, uh, uh, I came to Microsoft, I knew it already uh, longer, but the CVE is, is from 2006 even, because I didn't publish it, because it was too dangerous to, uh, to publish it in that time. I had a meeting at Microsoft uh, the Netherlands uh, with a proof of concept and uh, they officially uh, escalated the vulnerability. Microsoft is busy for a fix. Um, but they said the fix can only be uh, fixed in a service pack. It's well tested, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I said like, okay, no problem. But then I asked, um, okay, it's nice to have uh, have it in service pack, but will be my name in this service pack. And they said like, 
actually in search pack we do not specify call out the reporter of the issue. I was not happy at that moment. So I said like, you know what, this is not a deal. And then they said like, uh, we're not aware of a deal. And we really want to do this in, uh, in a service pack. Well, I said, you know what, uh, only the sun is shining for free. And I want some uh, appreciation. And that's the only thing what I want. In that time you didn't, uh, again, there were no bug bounty programs and this, this kind of stuff. So you only wanted to have uh, some appreciation. Who is authorized to sign my name in this? Because everything is possible. I even called them and I said, you know what, you got three days or something. If my name is not in it, I will publish it. So what happens if you say that? They release your call out. <laughs> they didn't want to have it published before they fixed it. Because uh, Commerce Server was used uh, by major companies um, uh, for uh, to have your sign-in for at major companies, like what you now have with, with authorization. And if I will publish it, uh, everybody will be vulnerable. Uh, I could uh, log on as every user that I wanted. So uh, that will be very bad. So I received even uh, uh, a KB article, even a security bulletin, everything on it. But what was my top questions in that time? My most asked questions. Did you hack Microsoft? Are you rich? No, and still not. Can you hack somebody's hotmail for me? I think everybody had this question once. Can you hack a bank for me? I think also a lot of people has these questions. And the strange questions came. Can you crash a train for us to make a documentary about hacking? This is really real. They really want to me to crash a train. I think that's not very nice. And the second one, can you hack a pigeon breeder website for me? It seems that pigeons are really expensive. So they wanted to know the locations of all pigeons. So my bucket list, hack Microsoft, receive a call out uh, in Microsoft product. I also received it. Meet Britney Spears. I, because I was working in the club scene and I knew a lot of people, I met Britney Spears. So I did it at, uh, yeah, at the movie, conf uh, movie um, how do I say it, uh, premiere. I could me uh, meet her. And now going worldwide with my talk, I've been at uh, DEF CON in Las Vegas, Sweden, Kazakhstan, Kiev, and uh, Bucharest coming, and much more. So thank you for uh, listening to this talk. I hope you liked it. Thank you, Dimitri, for such a nostalgic story. I just went back to the time of the time of ICQ and Warcraft 2. If there are any questions to the speaker, please. Nazar, please. Thank you. Do you feel that you want to ask the question? Uh, hi, Dmitry. Uh, can you tell, tell us more about that time when you were working in a club? <laughs> uh, you know, m maybe with pictures and tell us more about exactly that part of your speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. That I will send you some private pictures from it. <laughs> awesome. Maybe you have some workshop because you know. Yeah. I guess it, this is a unique experience. Yeah. About uh, a, a penetration testing. The real penetration testing, exactly. Yep. <laughs> awesome, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Можливо, хтось ще там з історії хоче дізнатися якісь факти. So, first of all, I'm pretty sure he will not send you the pictures, but they will be on your desktop when you get home. Um, Second, I couldn't help but notice that you have quite a fascination with Dr. Evil. So I have a theory, when they asked you back in 2000 if you installed a backdoor, you lied, 
and actually you have been controlling all Windows computers for 20 years and are still planning to take over the world. You don't have to answer me honestly. <laughs> um, I'm open for every uh, amount of money, for every um, uh, uh, country <laughs> that wants also access, so uh, no problem. <laughs> no, great presentation, thanks. Thank you, thank you. So, am I a the button? Quick question, why now? It's been a while. Why is uh, the timing? Uh, because, um, like I said in the, in, in the, uh, in the beginning, um, uh, I wanted to go to DEF CON and uh, I never been there. I was really, yeah, maybe I was a little bit scared to go to the US, um, still like if they wanted to charge me. Uh, but still like 18 years later, I was like thinking, okay, I was once already in the, in the US. I like, yeah, you know what? I really wanted to go to DEF CON and if I'm going to DEF CON, I want to do a presentation. And uh, I was accepted to DEF CON Sky Talks, very nice uh, uh, area. Um, and also uh, uh, there were a lot of people already in front uh, of my time, in 9, uh, 9 a.m. I was. And there was a really big line already at uh, 6, 7 a.m. So in that moment I was feeling, uh, you know what, I'm going to do the presentation worldwide. So uh, that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> 